hi everyone welcome back to the channel and um, if you're seeing this channel for the first time thank you for joining me on this video so i just want to show you guys how i was able to make this cut together color now when i mean cut together i mean it comes with a color stand so the color and the color stand cut together so i have a video uploaded on how to make a sleeve curl is available and also how to make these shirts that you're looking at i have a video uploaded so just go click and you're good to go so now to make the collar and the collar stand of the shirts i'm just going to go ahead and confirm the measurements i have on the neckline if it is what i have as my client's round neck measurements so our round neck measurement is 17 inches and the what i have on the shirt right now or the neckline of the shirt is 17 inches so there's no need for me to adjust the neckline this is perfect now we can go ahead and divide whatever number you get into two so my client like i said is 17 inches around neck 17 inches divided by two i got 8.5 so go ahead and divide your round neck measurements by two and that is what we are going to be working with So here is the interfacing I'm using and go ahead and fold your interfacing into two like this and now we're going to mark from the close edge of the interfacing towards the open edge and I'm just pinning this down so it doesn't move. So I'm just going to go ahead and place my tape from the close edge of the interfacing and um, to this part to mark my 8.5. Remember you're marking the since your interfacing is folded into two what you're marking here is half of your round neck so which is for me is 8.5 that's what i'm working with so now i need to find the middle point of the beginning of the interfacing to the point where i mark the 8.5 so i need to mark the middle point i'm just going to place my tape from the close edge like i did before to the point where i marked the 8.5 like this now for me to easily get my middle point i'll just fold the tape into two like this so i'll fold it into two like this and now i know the middle point of 8.5 which is four and quarter so i'm just going to mark the middle point which is four and quarter you guys for you to understand let me go ahead and label this out so the beginning of the 8.5 i'm going to mark i'm going to label that as a now the end where the 8.5 is is going to be our b and now the middle point of a and b is going to be c now on the b part that's where the end of the 8.5 i'll go up by one inch i'm just going to place the tape like this and go up by one inch and i'm just going to use my ruler to rule a straight line there to indicate that this is the one inch now already i already marked on the b so i'm just going to write that at the side b so what i'm going to do is connect the one inch to the middle point so I'll use my ruler again and connect the one inch to the middle point like this now we're about to create the color stand So the next thing for me to do is mark the length of the collar stand and, and this is going to be one inch so i'm just going to mark one inch like this like this like this like this i'll keep marking one inch and i'm just going to connect so we have created the color stand that was very easy right so before i close this color stand off before i go ahead and you know give it the shape i want i'll just go ahead and confirm if this is 8.5 and now i just found out that i went off a little bit so i'm just going to adjust this back to 8.5 let's confirm again so i'm just going to adjust this back to 
so this is where i'm closing this off so this is my 8.5 um width of color stand and now this, you can decide to make any shape you want at this point it is up to you so let's go ahead and mark the width or the length of the color we're working with and i will be making my two inches so i'm just going to mark two inches upward from the color stand so just the way we marked one inch for our color stand i'm just going to go ahead and mark two inches upward for the color so two inches two inches like this i'll keep marking this just place the tape from the color stand and go up by two inches to create your color and i'm just going to connect all of them like this just the way we did for the color stand but this is the color so now on this part um the end of the color i'm just going to go up by half an inch i'll go up by half an inch so i'll just come down to the color stand and i'll go in by 1.5 inch so from this point this point should be our d where we mark the one inch i'll just go in from d i'll go in by 1.5 inch So I tried to label the 1.5 inch I went in by, I labeled it as E. So now what I will do is, I'll connect the E to the F. The F should be the half inch on top. So I'll just label that as F. So I'm just going to go ahead and con connect the 1.5 to the half inch on the collar, on the top. And now we'll blend the half inch back to the collar. So I'll go ahead and blend the half inch back into the color. So I'm using a red marker so you guys understand that this is a whole new process. This is a whole different process. And I'm just going to blend everything back. And you guys will have created the color and the color stand. I hope you guys understood what we just did here. Whatever you need to do, if you need to pause this, whatever you need to do to understand it clearly, please do that. But it is just step by step. Just go ahead and follow this step by step. And trust me, once you're able to master this, you will find out that making the color and the color stand, it is really easy so when cutting normally you cut out the color stand from the color but because we're making it cut together color stand and color i'm just cutting all of them together so i'm not going to cut out my color stand i'm just going to go ahead and cut out the color stand and the color together and this is what i have so you guys let's go ahead and place this on the fabric So this is the fabric and um, I have my fabric folded into two. If you don't have a fabric you can fold, just go ahead and double your fabric. So make sure you have two fabrics. And you're placing your collar and your collar stand on the wrong side of the fabric. So make sure you have two fabric um, folded or doubled and then place on the wrong side. And now I'm just going to make sure I place this collar in a way that there is allowance around it, like enough allowance. And then I'll go in with my hot iron. So remember to make sure that the part of the gum is what is touching the fabric. That is what you place on the fabric where you have the gum on your interfacing. So I'm just ironing this with my hot iron. Make sure you leave enough allowance around your collar. You guys do that. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut this in such a way I have enough allowance around it. Treat you better than your last by far. No matter what you do. So as you can see, I'm leaving so much allowance because I'm going to still cut all this allowance out, not now, after we're done sewing. But just make sure you have enough allowance around your collar and your collar stand. So once I am done, I'm just going to take this to my machine and sew very, very close to the interfacing. You guys, you need to sew very, very, very close to your interfacing. If you can trace it out before you sew, please go ahead and do that. But you're sewing very, very close to the interfacing and follow the shape. Just as shown, follow the shape. Now, on the base of the collar, that's the edges that is open, that is going to be open at last. I left half inch on that base and I'm just going to go ahead and iron in the half an inch where the collar is seated that's where the interface is sorry is seated i'm just going to fold in the half an inch 
but anyways i'll still do this after we're done sewing i'm just showing you the this is going to be like the next step after we're done sewing so let's just take this to the machine and sew so right now as you can see i am sewing this carefully and gently just following the shape and just you know taking my time making sure i don't rush the process so i can get a perfect finish so just go ahead and take your time you don't need to rush follow the shape of your collar and your collar stand and just sew very very close to the interfacing So once I was done, I'm just going to cut out the allowance, the excess allowance, because I don't need it. I said that before that we're still going to get rid of them. So that's what I'm doing right now. And while I'm cutting, I'm still following the shape. So cut this in a, such a way that you're following the shape. So when you're, you know, flipping this to the right side, it's going to be very easy. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm flipping the whole color and the color stand to the right side. And you guys are going to see how beautiful this comes out to look so this is my collar and my collar stand already almost finished all we have to do now is fold the edges that is open that's at the base of the collar we'll fold the half an inch allowance we have under there we'll fold it in and make sure that the both edges are equal when folding make sure you fold this and both edges are equal and then for it to lay really really flat go in with your hot iron so make sure that your iron is really hot and but you shouldn't burn your fabric though and now fold the edges of the collar stand that's the edges where you have your allowance at the base of your collar fold the edges in such a way that both sides are equal and for them to lay flat you need to go in with your hot iron So you guys like i said if you follow the process just as i did this is the result you should be getting and i'm just going to bring the fabric my shirt fabric and um what i'm just going to do now is fold it into two so i can notch the middle point on the neckline so i'm just folding it into two and i have the middle point here i'm just going to go ahead and notch so once i have the middle point on my fabric and I've notched that. I'll do the same thing on the collar. I'm just going to go ahead and mark the middle point on my collar. I'm marking this with a white chalk so it's visible for me to see when I'm joining. And yeah, so this is the middle point on the collar. So this is the last step we're going to do, but not, not like the last, last step, but this is the last step before we go sew. Now I'm going to make sure I place the shirt's uh, middle points between the collar stand so i'm just placing it middle points on middle points and i'm just going to place my shirt fabric in between the collar and i'll pin this down once i am satisfied with the results i'll take this to the machine to sew so you guys do this carefully do this gently take your time don't rush it just place your fabric your neckline your shirt fabric neckline between your collar and then take this to the machine and sew so we're going to top stitch like this from the beginning of the collar to the other end of the collar and you guys that is it as you can see the, the shirt is between the collar so yeah now i am done with the whole process and for the last part we just have to iron down our collar and you guys that is it for this particular video hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you've learned something today please let me know in the comment section if this was really easy for you and if you find this video really detailed don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you're new i think you want to subscribe so yeah you guys thank you so much i love you like always love and light i'll be seeing you guys on my next video bye i love your conversation your touch is motivation swim good dive in your ocean backstroke now nah, nah. Now I walk, nah, nah First class, never flat, coach, nah, nah Girl, you get the best
best. I don't see the rest, you know. Shawty, you the best I've ever had thus far. So I'ma treat you better than your last by far. No matter what you do, can't nobody tell me shit about you. I really can't explain the things you do. 